Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to get the Windows 7 Aero theme in Windows 10 20 H2 without the use of Stardock Windows blinds. First off, I am not responsible for any damage done to your computer, system, or files, etc. Follow my guide at your own risk. Now, we need to download some programs and files. We'll need Windhawk, DWM Blur Glass, Aero 10, and Ultra UX Patcher. We will also need to get a long line of code for Windhawk. I'll leave links for everything down in the description. First off, let's start with installing Ultra UX Patcher. This program by Manual Hoofs will patch certain system files within Windows 10 so that third-party themes can be applied. Now let's place the Windows 7 error theme files in the theme folder. The folder is located in the system drive. In my case, that will be the drive letter C. Windows, Resources, then Themes. Now open the Aero 10 zip file, navigate to the Themes folder and select everything that's in there, and place it all in the Themes folder. Now right-click with your mouse on an empty space on the desktop and open Personalize. In the left panel, select Themes and choose your preferred Windows 7 or Windows Vista theme. I'm going to select Aero 10 7. We are now going to use DWM Blur Glass. DWM Blur Glass is a program by Maplesby and its contributors to make transparent windows possible. Open the zip file and extract the release folder. I recommend placing the folder on the system drive. Once more, I use the letter C. I also recommend to change the folder name into DWM Blur Glass. Now open the program and go to the Symbols tab and then press the download button. As the description states, you might have to re-download the symbol files after a Windows update. After it is done downloading the symbol files, go to the General tab and then press the Install button. Now copy these settings shown. Now we are going to install Windhawk. Windhawk is a program by Raman Software and it allows you to install mods on your system to tweak various parts of the OS. After the installation is finished, open the program and click the Browse Mods button. In the search bar, type Legacy File Copy. This mod by Raman CTRL brings the old Windows Vista and 7 File Copier dialog back. Now we need to get another mod, but this time from the web. It's called Error Explorer and can be found at the links here in the description. Scroll down to the mod code and click the spoiler link. Copy the entire code and go back to Windhawk. In the down right corner, press the Create a new mod button. Remove all the text in the window and replace it with the code you just copied. Press the Compile mod button and wait for it to be finished. After it's done, exit the editing mode. Open the settings of Windhawk and open the Advanced Settings tab. Scroll all the way down and click on the More Advanced Settings button. Scroll down to the Process Exclusion list and remove the text Critical System Processes, then press the button Save and Restart Windhawk. For the Start bar and menu I recommend downloading a program called Start is Back++. It's a paid software though. Another option would be downloading Classic Shell or its open source version OpenShell which are both free. And that's it. Now you can enjoy a Windows 7 error on your Windows 10 system. But anyway, that's it for this video. I'll leave some extra programs down in the description to make your system look even more like Windows 7. And I hope you guys enjoyed and found my video useful. If so, then please consider liking and subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload. Well, thank you guys for watching. Bye!